Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kikiing? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are. Because now it's time for Hey Queen Beach House with your host, Johnny McDonald! <laughs> Stunting summer sissies, and welcome to another death dropping episode of Hey Queen. With me, your hostess, Mr. John T. McGovernus. Yeah. Today's show is going to be Boots the House Down, my legendary children. Our guest today is a true pioneer. She rose to fame on season two of RuPaul's Drag Race and has gone on to greatness. She's stunning, she's outspoken, and she's here with us today. And I can't wait to get her out here. I'm talking about Sonique. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But before she cartwheels on out here, there's another queen who's also stunning. Or should I say, stunting. She's the free guacamole on the burrito of my life. Oh. She's sultry, she's seductive, and like an iPhone Plus, she doesn't fit in your pocket. She's full of apps, appetizers, of course. <laughs> and if you leave her out in the sun too long, she will overheat and turn off. <laughs> it's Miss <laughs> Lady Recator. <laughs> Hey, Queen. Oh, hey, Queen. Well, look at you. Oh, yes. I feel like a fresh summer sausage. Oh, yeah? Stuffed in his casing. <laughs> well, your, your casing is gorgeous. Oh, it's so, so fun, right? Yes. I mean, are, we're matching again. We are matching. It's a perfect for our summer beach outings. You're going to have to stop going through my room. Mm -hmm. Oh, as soon as you leave the house, I go <laughs> in and I color match. I'm like, OK, I got that shirt. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I had a shirt for every color you were wearing today. OK. <laughs> At least we be Wonder Twin Powers activate. That's right. Yeah, Boop. <laughs> um, what is your favorite thing you've been doing here at the beach house? Did you enjoy water skiing? Did you love swimming with dolphins? Did you love running on the beach? What's been your favorite summer activity? Staying in the hotel. <laughs> yes. Yes. I visited the cabana one time. Uh huh. Fell asleep. They rolled me up in a sheet. They thought I was dead. Okay. So I never revisited that. <laughs> yeah. So you just stay inside with the air conditioning. Stay inside. You know, I do have a special relationship with the lady who brings me my towels and things. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she gives me extra. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you eat beach food in the house with air conditioning. That's the only way. What do, what, what, do y'all really eat outside? Because <laughs> if you eat outside, then you have to worry about the animans. The animans? The animans and the insectus. Oh, OK. Yes, they like to come and share with you. I know they're roving the beach, just uh -huh. packs of wild dogs, Look the wild Mosquitoes. Oh, mild animals. Ready to eat Just your food. ready with ants, honey, fire ants. Oh, no, I'm good. No, thank you. All right, nothing like summer with Lady Red. You stay indoors and you order room service. And be pretty. Yes, well, that you are today. Yes. And speaking of pretty, our guest today is not only pretty, but honey, she is stunning. Yes. I'd say she is stunning. Stunning and unique, right? Ah. <laughs> because Sonique is in the house today. Yay! She's been doing the house. And we'll be back with her right after this very gay break. All right. All right. <laughs> Our guest today is a RuPaul's Drag Race veteran who's continued to work and work it all over the world. Welcome the stunning Sonique. Yeah. Hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. Oh, uh, Sonique, mm. you look so beach house. What are you I talking about? Oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, this what is it. Can we just have her just stand and look at Oh, you want me to stand yes. and fall apart? Because it is so oh, good. Oh, look at my that. God. Oh, oh the beauty of the so glamour. <laughs> Oh, girl, they got me rigged up to oh. the couch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Lady Red, take a look at this beautiful summer vision in front of me. Honey, she has looked the same for years, honey. That ain't Aww. nothing. She is beautiful. I'm so Thank happy you. to see you, girl. The feeling is mutual. Thank yes. You. Now, you and Lady Red, y'all have worked together quite a bit. Yeah, when I first moved out to California back in 2010, Remember I think it that? was. Uh, yeah. In that little dressing room in Hamburger Mary. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> yeah, what's scary about it? It's just, it's a lot of, lot of, lot going on on a little piece of plywood up <laughs> That's there. That's true. Over the restaurant. Now, you uh, just got back from Hawaii. Were you just going on a, did you jump on a private jet in this outfit from Hawaii and um, land on the roof of our studio? Almost. <laughs> No, actually, um, yeah, I just I just got back to uh, from Hawaii. I was there with my mom for seven days, and I worked at Scarlet when I was there. Um, it was it was very well, like I needed it so much. Yeah, because so. you are your schedule is pretty busy. I mean, yeah, ever since I moved back from Orlando, I just like moved here and like hit the ground running, and I haven't stopped. So like going there was like really good to like just like take everything in you and i got to have a fun time uh this past well just like a little while ago at uh, la gay pride yes because you were there for the legendary appearance of miss christina aguilera incredible um morgan actually called me um like a couple of days before and she was like um what are you doing on sunday i was like nothing she's like you will want to come with me to pride and I'm like, okay, she's, I was like, what's going on? She's like, just trust me, you'll, you'll be good. Now, that was quite a moment on stage with Christina Aguilera because it was a surprise for all the girls. Yeah. And that was like a feeding frenzy when she came out on stage. It was crazy because I thought we were supposed to be in the middle of the stage, but she literally didn't even make it out but to like the right corner. And all of us were just on top of her. It was crazy, but I was like, it was weird because I was like trying to like enjoy, but at the same time I'm like trying to look at her too. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Yeah. <laughs> See what's going on there. Um, but yeah, it was so it was so surreal. Just like being here. Like I always watch the show on YouTube, and like to be here is like weird. I'm like looking at everything <laughs> going on. So. Yeah. Well, here it is. Enjoy our beautiful beach house okay. and Lady Red's indoor outdoor space. Do you Hi. love it? <laughs> <laughs> I love it over here. Mm. Sometimes I get bored, but then they bring me something to eat. Sometimes I don't know what's going on, so they bring me something to eat. I like that blue <laughs> lipstick, girl. Okay, what it's fun, that? right? It's like, you know, a turquoise. I can't pull that off. For some reason, it always makes my teeth look yellow. Well, that's because you don't have a big-ass mouth like I do. <laughs> 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 um, now, Christina Aguilera was not your first brush with fame, sweetie. Mm. You were, were recently, you were asked to perform at Demi Lovato's Pride Party? I did, I did. Um, Demi Lovato, um, they wanted me to perform as Iggy for, Iggy was gonna be there, Iggy did, oh, there, there she is. Yep, oh, there oh you are, God. that's all of you got. It that was is... so crazy, and um, Demi was so sweet. I, before I even met her, I seen her walking through the house. And I was like, that girl was so beautiful. And um, yeah, she's So was she's that Demi gorgeous. Lovato's house? No, that was her friend Mike. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what was it like to perform for Iggy Azalea as Iggy Azalea? Oh God, it was that so nerve-wracking <laughs> because I'm because she came in and like we met each other before I performed. And um, I kind of wished I would have performed first and then got to meet her. But it was just really crazy. Like she just came up to me and we started talking like like normal people and the next thing you know I'm like performing her song out by a pool which was like this close from like going into the pool so I was nervous about that and she's like standing on the balcony with her cell phone like they're recording me while I'm performing to her music so it's it's crazy. What did you chat about with Iggy Azalea? We were talking about girl things, um, uh -huh. about body parts and stuff oh. like that. And Wait, we also go on, like what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about our asses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, we bonded over, over our booties. That was insane. I loved it. That, was so that is fun. Uh, what, what song did you do? I did Mo Bounce. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, this song had just came out, and I had just got the call, like, the day before. And um, so, like, I'm bubblegum, watermelon, that Come song on. a little bit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she said she wants to hang out again. So 
I'm down. I mean, that would, that would I be I mean, some... she did like one of my comments the other day, so we might be <laughs> friends. I'm just saying. Um, you also got to perform or like at least be dressed as Pink in front of Pink on Watch What Happens Live with your sister Morgan. That, yeah, that was um, a dream come true for me because Pink is the, one of the reasons why I started performing anyway. Um, I knew she was like different out of all the girls that were coming out at the time and everybody like Brittany and Christina and Mandy Moore and Jessica Simpson and everybody like that and then there was this like weird girl with the short hair she looked very androgynous you couldn't tell if she was black or white she just stuck out and she just I really liked her attitude and I read a lot about um, about her and we had a lot of similarities and um, so I've just always looked up to her and she's kind of been like my drag mother. <laughs> oh wow! Before like before I started doing drag, but like I I kind of modeled the beginning of my career after her. Were you able to express any of this to her in the short time that you got to talk to her uh, and watch what happens live? I was just like, look, I don't think that I look like you. I'm not trying to be you. I just say you inspire me. You always have, and you help keep the lights on. And when I said to her you help keep the lights on. It was like something clicked with her and she it was like she like looked at me then and she's like that means a lot to me. Thank you. And she gave me a hug and I gave her one of my t-shirts which I brought some t-shirts for you and oh, Lady you Red. <laughs> I love it. So you're back in LA? Yes. Finally. So I was very interested in your move cuz you moved to Florida to be part of the cast at the Parliament House, right? Yeah. Um, Which the, is a legendary place to perform. And they had been asking me for years if I would uh, consider um, being a cast there and like being on cast there. And Darcel called me, I remember it was like the day that I moved to California, like the first time. She called me and she's like, uh, hey, Sony, you know how she talks. Yes, we love her. <laughs> I can't do it because my voice is so high. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you but you know how she is. Um, and she asked me if I would take the job, and I was like, no, girl, I just moved here. And she would, like, ask me, like, once a year or every other year or something like that. And I finally, I was going through, like, this crazy breakup, and I was like, I have to get out of here. I was with someone who um, had a problem with, like, drug abuse. And wow. they were completely sober when I met them. So it was like, it's crazy to watch somebody go from, like, being completely you know, sober to being a mess. And what drugs were they doing? Oh, all of them. Really? All of them, anything. So this was a guy you were dating here in LA for how long? Um, we were only together for 10 months, but like he was like, he was like really verbally abusive too, because like he would try to show up to my job and like when things were cool, like I would be like, well, maybe we can work on this. I was such a, an idiot, such mm. an idiot, but he was, 21, it was bound. Like, I would try to get ready to go out with a friend or whatever, and he'd be like, you look horrible. Like, you, like, call me names and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't dress, like, crazy like that, you know? Uh -huh. So eventually I got smart and I said, fuck you. I wrote a song about it and I got over it. Even though that was a really hard time for me, like, I feel like I really did learn something. Um, about it, so like I'm glad that I did learn. I I hate that I had to learn the hard way, but sometimes um, you have to rattle the cage a little bit. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Now tell me about performing at Parliament House because that's like a legendary cast. Mostly trans girls. Um, it's it's like it's almost like a trans uh, queen re review show, and uh -huh. you have Darcel Stevens, who is the only like. Um, boy queen mm -hmm. um, and everybody else are, are girl queens right. or whatever. I was really nervous about accepting the job because I didn't think that I was good enough when they first started asking me. I was like, there's no way I'm such a like brick right now. Like I'm not trying to get ready next to Giselle Barbie Royale. Right. <laughs> no ma'am, because those girls are so lovely. They're, they like, are. And for me, like I had I was just starting my transition and stuff like that. I was trying to still get comfortable with my body mm. being different, yeah. you know? And um, I don't know, then I eventually, you know, I was like, you know what, maybe Darcel calling me and asking me around that time when it was kind of crazy for me, it was like a good thing for me to do. And I'm like, I think I'm okay enough to be on the cast now. Right. 
And uh, yeah, so I, I went there for like a month and a half to see if I would like it. And I did, and I was having fun. They put me up in the gardens. You yeah, know? of course. Yeah, Lady Red and I <laughs> know the gardens the garden, very well. Honey. Baby, they the had me in good. there. Ain't it all good, though? <laughs> oh, good, oh my God. honey. I thought I was a slut in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun there, girl. Yes. Yes, it's all you can do. Anything can yeah. be delivered to the gardens. Oh, my God. <laughs> Queens, thanks for watching. For part two of this interview, click here. For more Hey Queen fabulousness, click here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>